What up, what up, what up? What up though, and welcome to another edition of Quintessential. I'm your host, Travis, AKA Mr. Clark Sent, AKA Mr. President, AKA the Quintessential Sentiment. And today we have another uh, comparison video today. And today I tried to pick fragrances that are better for colder weather, that are more casual, and have some kind of a connection to each other. So the fragrances I chose are Bad Boys Are No Good, But Good Boys Are No Fun. That's one very long name. That's by Killian. And CH Man Privé and Armani Code Profumo. I know it seems random picking these three because they don't smell like. They don't even remotely come into play to each other. Well, I guess well, well, in a little bit, but they just remind me of each other in different stages. When I smell bad boys, um, I mean, it's just Coke and lime like a lime coke that's pretty much it man i mean i get a little like the nutmeg a little bit of cinnamon yeah so i get coca-cola lemon cinnamon yeah and and like a little bit of nutmeg those coca-cola and the lemon lime excuse me the coca-cola the lime and the nut uh the cinnamon really stand out in this fragrance and for me this is a beast mode fragrance. I know a lot of people haven't said that about this, but this thing projects well off my skin. I remember I wore it uh, out one night, um, and I, I probably thrown it on at like eight or nine. Well, no, no, I think I think I threw it on around nine, and then when I left the club at like three, the Uber driver was like, "Hey, what are you wearing?" And I was like, "What? You can still smell that?" And I didn't think it was still going. He was like, "Yeah, I can still smell it." As soon as you got in here, the whole car filled up. I thought I hadn't smelt it anymore, but I got nose blind to it. But this thing goes, man. I will give I, I will give Killian that. They, they did a good job as far as projection and because um, I got compliments that night. And it, it does get compliments, but they, it, they did a good job with projection and performance with this fragrance. But to me, it gets annoying. So it's more so, I, I really do think, like it says, boys, I really do think this is for a younger crowd. So somebody who's probably really, and I don't even think it's for somebody in their early, I mean, let me to late twenties. No, no, I think it's like high school. This, I think this is perfect for high school and college. Um, this is, I think the young girls will probably really go, it'll go over well from the, I'm not R. Kelly, so I'm not going down that road. So I'll probably just give this away, but anyway. On to CH Man Privé. CH Man Privé, everybody talks about it. It's the leather jacket. I, I, don't, I don't get any leather jacket guy. Look, this is, reminds me of uh, Jack and Coke. It has that feel to it. It has whiskey on it. It has cardamom in it. It has um, some tonka bean in it. And this one is very relaxed fragrance. Very confident guy. Um, it's not professional, it's not, not, I wouldn't even say it's playful. Um, people like to say it's flirty, but I don't, I don't really get that. It's just more confident, like suave a little bit, like a guy who drinks a Jack and Coke. I and mean, you know, it's a lot of people drink Jack and Cokes from the, the guy who's wearing a trucker hat to uh, somebody who is just at a, you know, a happy hour with a, a suit on without the tie and he's grabbing a Jack and Coke. I mean, Jack and Coke are for everything. So I do think this is very versatile about who can wear it and who should wear it and who likes it. Um, I think it's I think it's a really good fragrance for the fall. This is one of the fragrances I really do like. And I will be rocking it this fall. This one, this one is pretty good. I like this one. I do recommend this one. And then there is Armani Cold Profumo, a popular fragrance that once again has cardamom, it has some uh, tonka bean, it has it has amber in it. I know it's, well, it's the Profumo version, okay? So they amped up, uh, I think they amped up the Tonka Bean from the original one. So I like it, but to me, out of the three, this one gets a lot of play. I think this one is the most popular of the three, and a lot of people wear this because it's Armani. I mean, you know, Armani does a re really good job with a lot of their fragrances and they market it well and they have a great name. And so because of that, 
people will gravitate towards um, different lines. I mean, this one has flanker after 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 flanker. All right, they got a lot of these things. And Pro Fumo, to me, Armani Co Pro Fumo is one of the better ones out of the out of the line. For me, from what I would like to wear, which ones? Let's let's go with Killian's boys. No, would not wear that. I'm a grown man, so. Yeah, it's not for me. Armani Code Profumo, yeah, but I still I still smell Armani Code. Yeah, they amped up some differences and they tweaked it a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's still Armani Code to me. And uh, I'm tired of that DNA. So the one that I prefer out of the three is CH Man Prive. Yes, it's not the the newest fragrance out of the group. I mean, I think it's been it's been around since 2015, so it's not a new fragrance. But it's not like Armani Code, which has been around since I think what 2011, 2010. This fragrance is a beautiful fragrance, and that is the one I would suggest for anybody over, honestly, anybody over 23 or 22. This one would be the one I recommend. All right, so. If you like these type of videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And it is very quintessential that you do these things.